Chili con carne, 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 chili con carne. Yeehaw, 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 yeehaw. So tonight, folks, chili con carne for tea. I've cooked the mince. I've added all the ingredients. I've got it simmering on the pot there for now for another 10 minutes. Then I add the, uh, the all important kidney beans. They go in at the end, and that'll be almost ready. But the thing I like to add into my chili, folks, is a little bit of a, a secret is the famous baba sauce man that just adds a bit of sweetness and a bit of heat to it as well which is awesome but nobody knows about that that's my secret and of course folks a glass of vino as well tonight we're having a uh a merlot uh because it's a cold winter a cold winter night really really cold out there tonight folks so we're having the uh a nice merlot to to go with it um and once that's cooked just leave it to simmer for 10 minutes, then before I add the chili beans, uh, the kidney beans, and then once that's done, just eat at your own pleasure. Fantastic. With pita bread, rice, whatever you want. There is boiling away, folks. Look at that. Looks good, eh? Oh, 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 get in. Oh, man. Yeah, baby. Yes. All right, folks. Now, while we're at this uh, theme, does anybody know what this, this tune is? I thought it was like, it's, a banana, it's not bonanza, is it? It's some sort of Western thing. <laughs> Comments, thank you. Granddad is an old man, very kindly sent me these uh, shapes that uh, I asked him to have a look at. So he sent them to me. Now, these ones here, these are spheroids. These are basically two half of a, uh, a circle, a, 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 like an orb together. They sort of waddle. And this one here, this is called a gombok. Very unusual name for something. It's called a gombok. It's supposed to be a self-writing thing. However, it doesn't really work properly, this thing. But uh, what is interesting about this is that it's used uh, by uh, by turtles. Their, their shell is in this sort of shape. And it's a self-writing sh shape. So when they, they fall over, it writes itself up. However, it doesn't really sort of work properly on this, this gombok, which is very... Annoying because um, when I saw it on the uh, on YouTube, it, it worked okay. But the way this has been done, I don't know what's happened here. Granddad's given it a bit of a, a filing down and just doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to really do anything. It just stays in the one position. Look, it's supposed to self-write. So, but it doesn't really seem to, to do much. No, it's, it's, it doesn't work at all, man. This, I'm afraid, Granddad. Sorry, mate. This isn't this gombok. Maybe I've given you some false information, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just it doesn't work, buddy. You can imagine a turtle in distress, you know. But here, here are the spheroids. These spheroids are awesome. The way these things move. We're just you're supposed to put them on the slope, but. Oh, yeah. But nothing's working today, is it? Right, there you go. Do 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 There you go. Do 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 Hey, there you go. Great fun. Come on, do your thing. Oh, hang on. All right, well, we'll get this sorted out for you. Hang on, I'll No, come on, roll towards me. Come on, do it. 
There you go. No, yeah, they're brilliant, those things. The way they just waddle, man, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, whoa. Got two in the grave, see what happens here. Yes, that's spheroids. So a very big thank you to Grounder for taking this time and the materials used to uh, make these things. But the spheroids are awesome. I'm going to keep them. They're great. Gombok, I'm afraid. I think the Gombok Grounder, it must have used loads of... Um, oh, there goes one of the spheroids. The Gombok must have used loads of uh, filament for that. But unfortunately, Grounder, it doesn't really seem to... It's, it just... Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with them. It just doesn't seem to... To, to self right, supposed to self right, but no, the one that seems to do it, no, no, I'm afraid not, folks. Anyway, never mind, but uh, thank you very much, G Dad. Mm. Now, this, folks, is a condenser microphone, it's a brilliant microphone, and this is an old one that Frankie gave me. As you can see, it's uh, a bit knackered, parts come off it, and the switch, other side doesn't work you need to have a i've got a screwdriver flathead screwdriver here that i uh that i use there we go just to push it back down into off position when i finish it and it's a complete pain in the ass because you've got to turn it off after you've used it because the battery in here is one of these little square nine volt batteries the power continuously goes so even if it's on and it's not plugged into the uh into the the eight track it's not plugged into anything, the power still gets used, so the battery drains down. And I, a number of times, I keep forgetting to turn the switch off because you've got to get the screwdriver out and turn it off. It's just a pain in the ass. So I'm going to have to go and get a couple of batteries for this thing, man. It really is a nuisance. Very good microphone, though. Being a condenser mic, it just keeps everything nice and neat. And the whole, everything, the sound is fantastic, man. Put it over an acoustic guitar, you hear the strings. Perfect. Brilliant. My voice. My voice sounds awesome on this thing, man. I tell you, bit of delay, bit of reverb, bit of tomato sauce on the voice. It sounds great, but uh, yeah. So unfortunately, it does use a lot of power with the uh, the battery. You nuisance, you. So I'm going to find that battery this morning, folks, because to... it's run out because I left it on last night. Honestly. <laughs> Right, good morning, folks. This is indeed, this is Friday. Got myself two batteries for my uh, condenser mic. The one's been running out of power all the time. <coughs> so there we go, two of them. One pound 80 there, so that's not too bad. Normally about six quid in other shops. So Panasonic and B&M's. One pound 80, fantastic bargain. Thank you, B&M's, brilliant. There it is, folks, the best soup in the world. Rosie's homemade soup, some tiger bread. Man, her soup is absolutely awesome. Look at that, get in. 